Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. This week's PPF Pro Tip video, I'm gonna go over three things that you need to go over with your customers when they come to pick up their vehicles after you finish installing paint protection film on them. So these are three things I've had to learn the hard way through trial and error. And hopefully after watching this video, you don't make the same mistakes that I made. Okay, so the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to go over with your customers when they pick up their vehicle after you're done installing paint protection film is seams. Now, hopefully you will have educated your customer enough beforehand that seams are gonna be necessary in the right spots. We use this Tesla Model Y bumper, for example. On the bumper, we've got four seams. Right over here, as you can see, we've got a seam right over here. And then if we come over, over here, we have a seam right here as well too. And when you explain this to the customer, you can explain it to them as, you know, due to the thickness of the film and the complexity of the bumper, it's very hard to do this all in one piece, which is why we have these seams. So please be mindful when they're pressure washing, just to stay away from these seams, or if they're gonna get close to the seams, make sure instead of coming at them at an angle, they come at them straight on, if that makes sense. Okay, second thing you wanna go over with, with your customers is go over all the areas that are not protected. So in the case of this vehicle, we wrapped the entire thing. Now, there's a couple areas that we did not wrap. So like inside of the mirrors, for example, we did not bother wrapping them. So I'm gonna let the customer know, film's gonna stop right over here. So we did not wrap inside there. Second place where we did not wrap is on the corner of this hood. So this is something that they need to be mindful of when they're pressure washing, same with the mirror, is when they're pressure washing, just be mindful of where their edges are. So they need to know that there is a live edge here. There is good coverage here, but it's not perfect and it's not all the way around. Reason being, if you've done any kind of paint protection film wrapping in the past or any kind of vinyl wrapping, you know that sharp corners like this are very hard to properly wrap. So I'm just, when, when the customer comes to pick it up, we go over it with them, show them all of their edges, where they need to be mindful of, and then all the areas that are unprotected. Okay, the third and final thing that I like to go over with my customers with when they pick up their vehicle after I'm done installing paint protection film is dust nibs and any other kind of paint imperfections that may be stuck under the film. So here we got a dust nib right over here that would have need, needed to be wet sanded and polished before we'd be, we'd be able to wrap. So I like to go around the whole vehicle, show the customer any kind of imperfections that way they're leaving and they know of them and that they're not gonna come back to me later on in the future with those. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Those are three things that I always make sure to go over with my customers when they pick their vehicles up after I'm done installing paint protection film on them. If you feel like I missed something super important, feel free to leave it down in the comments section and make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more.